actually one of the issues uh, that, that I could uh, request that we discuss today is an issue that is uh, challenging most Christians yeah. and especially today's Christians. Those who believe that uh, uh, once you have been saved and uh, since salvation is free, it is not necessary to be constrained to certain uh, a kind of lifestyle, especially the lifestyle of holiness. So perhaps I could uh, post this uh, argument to, to all of us. Is it necessary now that we live a holy life? Is it necessary? Yeah, you, you know, ho holiness is not uh, a must. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can say Maybe we would uh, have to explain what it is, mm -hmm. but I can say it is not mandatory, mm -hmm. uh, except for some three categories which I will show you. Okay. Uh, there, there are particular categories that uh, must be holy. All right. And maybe probably that's what I may wish us to discuss, yes. okay. because I will out outline those categories. Mm -hmm. And even a child of God out there finds himself in those categories. Mm -hmm then you have no excuse whatsoever. Mm -hmm. This is something you must observe. Mm -hmm. uh, the truth is uh, that everyone has been said that, that there's that righteousness. All right. You know, righteousness is not holiness. Uh -huh. Righteousness is what God has done for you. Mm -hmm. While it, to me, holiness mm -hmm. Is that which is within your ability, uh -huh. that which you must do mm -hmm. to suit him. Uh -huh. And uh, both of them are necessary. Uh -huh. uh, but the second one, holiness, mm -hmm. is more necessary for the three categories uh -huh. which we are about to discuss. Because mm -hmm. righteousness uh, was given to all of us yes. uh, without our request. Mm -hmm. But holiness is what you do. I, as one who has received righteousness. You that has acknowledged, acknowledged. that you have received righteousness. You know mm -hmm. salvation mm -hmm. is free. Yes. But the Bible says you work it out. Uh -huh. So once you have been given that salvation, mm -hmm. for it to benefit you, uh -huh. to profit you, uh -huh. you must make use of it. Uh -huh. That's why it talks in the Philippians chapter... Two mm -hmm. and um, and verse uh, twelve, some. verse twelve or, mm -hmm. or, or seventeen. Mm -hmm. Can you check Philippians chapter two and um, and verse twelve says you work out your salvation with fear mm -hmm. and a trembling. Uh -huh. It is not actually verse twelve. Yes, it is verse twelve. Mm -hmm. I can uh, read because it because it's not verse seventeen. I believe. Yes, yeah, it could be, but. Uh, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Now, when you say continue to work out your salvation, yes, that means this salvation mm -hmm. is something you have already received. Uh -huh. You have personalized it. We say in our current language, you have customized it. Uh -huh. Now, you begin to work it out. Mm -hmm. You are not working to save yourself. Uh -huh. You are working on something you have already received. It's like uh -huh. a parcel of land uh -huh. Uh -huh. given by your father. Mm -hmm. yes. And then when your father gives you that land, it is up to you to, to see what you can use it for. Uh -huh. You may decide to leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Another one of your brother may decide to work it out yes. uh -huh. to produce yes. something for his life. Uh -huh. Yes. So when the Bible says work out your salvation, uh -huh. it is telling you this salvation you have been given as a gift. Uh -huh. But even if you are given a good suit as a gift, yes. if you don't take it to the laundry, yes. uh -huh. it will wear out before it is time. Uh -huh. yes. It will expire. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when the Bible says work out your salvation, mm -hmm. it is actually telling you salvation has been given to you freely. Uh -huh. Make use of it if you want to profit out of the salvation. Uh -huh. And therefore, Pastor, I, yes. I can say freely that um, uh, holiness is not for everyone. 
it's not for everyone. <laughs> it's not for every believer. Because allness is it, it it doesn't go to the level of ensuring that you have eternal life. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. it can contribute in your eternity. It can contribute. It can actually become the reason why you will miss eternity. the eternal life uh -huh. that you are embraced. Uh -huh. Uh, Dad, in the first place, let me hear you correctly. You are saying uh, that salvation benefits the recipient. It is like a gift. It is yes. meant to, to benefit us, those who have received it. Yeah. Not necessarily to benefit the one who gave it to us. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he already has it. That's why he gave part of it to you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God is eternal life. Mm -hmm. He gave you a share uh -huh. of his life. That's uh -huh. what we call it, uh, salvation. Mm -hmm. But that life has particular conditions. Mm -hmm. It is given freely to everyone. Yes. But those who accept it, it becomes theirs. Yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So meaning, if you don't accept it, mm -hmm. You, it is not yours, uh -huh. even though it has been given to you. Mm -hmm. When a gift has been sent even to a post office, mm -hmm. and you don't go pick it, even though it bears your name, uh -huh. it's not yours already. Uh, yes, uh -huh. that's correct. If it was for a wedding, which was supposed to be today, mm -hmm. and you have not picked it where it was delivered, uh -huh. that wedding will be be over yes and the gift has not yet become yours if it was a suit mm -hmm. therefore it, you didn't you have it, it mm -hmm. for the wedding mm -hmm. therefore even though it bears your name mm -hmm. how profitable is it to you uh -huh. that the wedding is over and, and you don't have it uh -huh. truly even if it comes you say it is yours mm -hmm. but not beneficial mm -hmm. and therefore this eternal life mm -hmm. is ours but we must receive it. Mm -hmm. Then after receiving it, use it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Work it out. Uh -huh. And uh, it only survives uh -huh. in an environment that is holy. Uh -huh. Because the giver is holy. Uh -huh. The receivers must be, be holy, holy for them to be able to maintain it. Uh -huh. Let nobody deceive you that eternal life is durable. It is only durable based on the atmosphere and the environment it finds itself. Once you are saved, forever saved. I, I, even in heaven, uh -huh. if heaven changes and it becomes something else, uh -huh. eternal life cannot survive there. <laughs> <laughs> eternal life uh -huh. has a particular environment uh -huh. where it survives. Uh -huh. One of the reasons why people want to go to heaven is because of uh, the life they have received and acknowledged. Uh -huh cannot survive on earth forever. Uh -huh. Yes. You must be transferred to a particular environment mm -hmm. where that life mm -hmm. cannot suffocate. Uh -huh. It will survive. Uh -huh. One of the reasons why God does not dwell on earth mm -hmm. <laughs> is because he is eternal. <laughs> I was fearing the next statement. He, he, he is, God cannot survive on earth. He is eternal. Yes. Even when Jesus finished the, the, the work he was using with the body, uh -huh. he had to leave this place. Yes. <laughs> Go to where the life in, he has uh -huh. can survive. Uh -huh. And uh, when, when that life is being given to you, yes. if you want it to continue surviving and benefiting you, uh -huh. you must be like how the owner of the life is. Uh -huh. Maybe you can read... Um, uh, first Peter. First Peter. Yeah, First Peter, and uh, chapter, chapter one, chapter one, verse. Let me see it here. Chapter, chapter First Peter, chapter one, verse fifteen. You can read First Peter, chapter one, verse fifteen and sixteen. First Peter, yeah. chapter one. Sorry, verse fifteen and sixteen. Yeah. Uh the Bible says, but just as he who called you is holy, yeah. mm -hmm. so be holy in all you do. For it is written... Not, not just being holy in who you are, uh, but also in all you, you do. do. Uh, so that, uh, that means holiness is doable 
here. Ah, yes. Ah. We, we cannot say like it is impossible. Because mm -hmm. the Bible cannot request us and make an appeal that we do what God knows is practically impossible. impossible. Jesus came here to prove to us mm -hmm. that holiness is attainable and uh -huh. possible. Uh -huh. He came from above. Uh -huh. Became like us. Exposed to all that we do. Mm -hmm. Yet he remained without sin. Yes. That, that alone tells you that it is much possible mm -hmm. for a man who has been called of God mm -hmm. to be as holy as the God who called him. Uh -huh. Now you can continue reading. It says, uh, verse 16, For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. And that's verse 16. Yes. Be holy because I am holy. I am holy. Uh -huh. you, you, you see now, I... Is that standard not too high? Not, not <laughs> really. You know, you, you are not born of a human will, a human will when, you, when you become born again. Uh -huh. John chapter 1 verse 13 says, you are born of the spirit. Uh -huh. You are children not born out of a husband, it's a decision. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not out of a human will, but mm -hmm. born of the spirit. Uh -huh. Now that spirit you are born of mm -hmm. is the enabler. Uh -huh. He enables you mm -hmm. to survive. If the standard was too high, mm -hmm. Jesus could have fallen. True. <laughs> because the Bible, the Bible says he was tempted in all ways yes. as we are. Uh -huh. Yes. Exposed yes. to are. everything as we are. Uh -huh. Yet without sin. sin. He was not hidden by God like, come, come, sin is coming. Let me hide you. <laughs> God permitted him to meet with sin head on. Uh -huh. Yet he pursued his purpose and he finished it. Uh -huh. The standard becomes too high when you are too weak. No, Dad, I'm hearing something so hard. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, that's all right. I'm hearing that one can live completely a holy life on the face of the earth. It, it is not only Jesus who managed that. Many, many people manage that. The only problem is it was not just holiness that was going to guarantee you eternity. Mm -hmm. Many could have already gone long time ago, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, they could have gone. But while holiness was very important, mm -hmm. it was not the key uh -huh. to open the door. Uh -huh. Jesus was, was the, the key. key. Mm -hmm. And therefore, he had to come mm -hmm. and give people the power to become the the, 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 to, to carry the kind of holiness mm -hmm. that God wants Want. because uh -huh. he knows it. Mm -hmm. That's why when you, when you read um, in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 11, mm -hmm. he says it is him who makes people holy. Mm -hmm. he, he came with righteousness. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He saved us. Mm -hmm. After saving us, mm -hmm. he now started the process of making us holy, holy. Uh -huh. in the manner in which God what? was. Uh -huh. You, you are reading that, and yes. maybe probably we, we get to Pastor Bakari here. Both the one who makes men holy, yes, and those who are made holy are of the same family. Yes, and therefore, so Jesus is not ashamed to call them his brothers. Brothers. Yes. So and what again I'm hearing something else. <laughs> you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't become a brother of Jesus because you acknowledge salvation. That's what I'm hearing. You become Amen. a brother because, because you, you are, have become uh, as holy, holy uh, as, as he, he is. is. Uh. So he is as holy as, as his father. father. Oh, what God. makes us of the same family, family. it is holiness. Uh -huh. Everyone Hallelujah. is saved. Uh -huh. Including those who have not acknowledged Jesus. Uh -huh. He saved all of them. Yes. Uh -huh. But now what changes the story? Uh -huh. It is he is holy, holy as his father. Yes. We are supposed to become as, as holy, holy as, as his, his father. Mm -hmm. But we don't know how to become holy. Mm -hmm. And therefore he makes us as holy. holy. Oh my God. Oh. This kind of holiness uh -huh. is what now qualifies you to be a brother of Jesus. Of Jesus. Uh -huh. Oh, you are. Dad, I, I don't know why I'm hearing something because 
is like God. You you have to hear something. God, <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you have to hear Amen. something. It's, Amen. It's like God is making everything similar to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I really. I really don't understand why then we are really struggling with this thing called sin and all this. Because even this process of holiness, mm -hmm. I'm now hearing that it is him that who makes us even that holy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, that from the beginning as we started, I realized something. You know, for many years, we have grown to uh, memorizing this first John 3.16 mm -hmm. that uh, Jesus came mm -hmm. so that whoever believes in him. Mm -hmm. So I thought in the beginning that our only action is just believing, believing. that's the end of it. But today I'm surprised that there is an action, there is something that we are supposed to also take or do. It is as if I'm seeing parents with their children, taking their children to school. But taking your child to school is just not enough. Your child is expected to also do something mm -hmm. in that process. And. Uh, but Pastor, even uh, this is interruption. Yes. You have read that faith without action is dead. <laughs> <laughs> so that faith of John 3.16, yes. if it's not accompanied with an action. No, no, even in Christian, belie believing and having faith uh -huh. are not the same. Yes. Yeah, believing is to, is to acknowledge him. Uh -huh. Having faith mm -hmm. is to do what he expects out of you uh -huh. who has believed him. Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. yes. you don't grow in believing, but you grow in, in faith. faith. Oh my. That means there's a process. Growth, growth is a process of going towards maturity. Uh -huh. And in the process of growing, you mm -hmm. outgrow. So that means in your journey of faith, uh -huh. you are leaving some things behind uh -huh. and moving on Forward. to better things. Uh -huh. But when everyone can believe, believing is acknowledging that Jesus came. Mm -hmm. So can you now show us the impact of his coming through your lifestyle? Uh -huh. Yes, he, he came. Even Muslims know he came. Mm -hmm. Even drunkards know he, he came. came. They celebrate Christmas and all that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But can somebody look at you and say, even though they say he came, mm -hmm. we can see the manifestation uh -huh. in this one. Yes. His coming is beneficial. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Mm -hmm. Look at what, what? is happening. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, you were on speaking and the pastor interrupted Sorry you. Sorry for the interruption. Yes, yes. yes. it's allowed. And, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm now beginning to understand that it is not just becoming a believer. Mm -hmm. It is not just righteousness. Mm -hmm. Because we never knew for a long time that we are supposed to benefit something where on earth mm -hmm. as a result of us believing. Oh, yes. It, it, it is like, a, like, like, like a, a company like Safaricom. Mm -hmm. For it to benefit you, you mm -hmm. have to buy that line and subscribe to some of its services. Yes. And uh, I think, is, is it like there is a kind of life that we are supposed to live so that now we submit into some kind of standard set by our father if this salvation has to benefit us and now um salvation is being given to us free not just to us but to everyone but not everyone can be a beneficiary of that salvation uh, that not is, everyone that's it mm -hmm. wow it is given to everyone mm -hmm. but not everyone can become a beneficiary yes um beneficiaries are those who work it out yes they work out their salvation uh -huh. with fear uh -huh. and trembling mm -hmm. and um in that process God is aware that he gave salvation of Abraham. Mm -hmm. uh, Angels are not with bodies. Yes. They are, they are spirits. Mm -hmm. But with us, we are spirits in, in bodies. In bodies. Oh so the spirits have been saved by Jesus. That's what we call righteousness. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But the bodies are being saved. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. You see now? Yes. Through holiness. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when we talk about holiness, we are talking about issues that surround our bodies and our actions uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, you you will get to realize that um, while i said this oldness is not for everyone yes but these particular categories mm -hmm. 
I, I can, can maybe you can permit me say one uh -huh. of the categories mm -hmm. yeah, that, right. that that is that must embrace oneness mm -hmm. is a category of people who want something from God. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't deliver to everyone because if you say it delivers to sinners, then why should he not deliver to the devil? Uh huh. Because <laughs> he's the chief sinner. Uh huh. <laughs> Why, why, why should God not support the devil? If, you, if he supports you, mm -hmm. who is supporting the devil, mm -hmm. why shouldn't he support, support the, the devil, devil himself? Instead. Uh -huh. <laughs> because when you sin, you are not supporting him. Uh -huh. You are supporting the devil. The devil. Mm -hmm. You are growing the devil's kingdom. Mm -hmm. So why should God keep supporting you, you who is supporting the his devil. enemy? Mm -hmm. Anyone that wants anything from God, yes, must accept holiness and re refuse sin. Uh -huh. Why should those who, uh, wh why, why should they not get, those who, who don't have holiness, mm -hmm. why should they not get anything from God? Mm -hmm. Because sin mm -hmm. has separated mm -hmm. them, them with God. Uh -huh. Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Now, if sin has separated you from God, mm -hmm. how with God channel what he has to you mm -hmm. and you are already separated. Disconnected. You are disconnected. Uh -huh. So even if you wanted to deliver, you are not within the pipeline. You are not on the channel. Therefore, the delivery is not going to arrive. Mm -hmm. Dad, are you saying that if you want something from God, then you must embra embrace holiness? Yes. And if you want something from the devil, uh -huh. you must discard <laughs> holiness. <laughs> it is the dif the dividing factor. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay. Because the devil doesn't only give to those who acknowledge him. Uh, mm -hmm. uh. He even gives those who don't acknowledge him but are disobedient to God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. He doesn't limit himself to those who are illuminati or the worshippers. Mm -hmm. He also supports mm -hmm. those who can help with demons like fornication, mm -hmm. adultery, mm -hmm. drunkenness. If you are supporting him. He can give you some money for, to keep drinking. Those who can help his demons. Yeah, his, his kingdom to move. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know, the devil doesn't, uh, it's not like God. God wants you to accept him consciously. Mm -hmm. The devil doesn't want you to accept him consciously. Mm -hmm. he, that's why he uses ignorance. Uh -huh. You accept him unconsciously. Uh -huh. You sit somewhere and you think you are supporting God, uh -huh. but the devil is aware you are his number one supporter. Uh -huh. Agent one. Yes, because <laughs> out of ignorance, you support him unconsciously uh -huh. while thinking you are supporting God. Uh -huh. Now, if I'm hearing you correctly, it, it is as if this wholeness that we are talking about, more the greater percentage, or almost the entire of it, affects the body. Or the mind. The flesh, perhaps. or uh -huh. the mind, uh -huh. kind of. Mm -hmm. Because... Does sin affect holiness or righteousness? Um, sin cannot affect righteousness. <laughs> because righteousness came to affect sin. Sin, uh -huh. sin used to exist. And even holiness did not defeat yes. um, sin. But when righteousness came, sin was defeated. Uh -huh. But it is it is still has capacity to affect holiness like mm -hmm. it used to do before Jesus came. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, for this holiness to become meaningful, mm -hmm. you must first embrace righteousness. righteousness. Ah, ah, ah. So that after you have embraced, embraced righteousness, mm -hmm. your holiness factor is mm -hmm. empowered. Oh. Uh -huh. You can now overcome sin wow. because you are a righteous man. Uh -huh. So your holiness becomes empowered by your righteousness. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. In, in the past, they used to exist and they wanted to become holy. Sin defeated that, that holiness. Yes. But when righteousness came, oh our holiness, righteousness did not come to replace holiness. It came to empower holiness so that holiness can have power of a sin. Uh -huh. Yeah. It is, it is not holiness, a, an alternative. Holiness by itself, it was weak against yes. sin. Yeah. Yet it but was necessary. Yet it was necessary. <laughs> mm. But now, uh, righteousness came, came 
and it partnered with the holiness. Uh -huh. Yes, now, now, now holiness could now rejoice holiness, yes. over sea. Because it has a stronger partner <laughs> yeah. to overcome the enemy. That, that's what I'm hearing. Yes, now, yes. That, now that is still on, on, on the category of people that are able to, that who want holiness or whose Yeah, the, number aspect, one is those who want something from God. Yes, yes. yes. If someone is sick and they want something now from God, which is healing, uh -huh. what does that person need? Uh, such people, according to the Bible, mm -hmm. it is holy men mm -hmm. who should pray over that person. Uh -huh. And if he committed sin, uh -huh. he would be forgiven. Uh -huh. no, not on, on the individual's account, uh -huh. on the account of these who have come to pray, offer him. Oh, seriously. That's what it says in James chapter 5. Verse 14. Yes. If any one of you is sick, uh -huh. let him call for the elders. So it is assumed uh -huh. that the elders uh -huh. are holy, holy and they carry ay, 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 the power ay, 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 ay. that must surpass sin. You can read. Chapter 5, verse 14. Yeah. The Bible says, um, Is anyone of you sick? Yes. He should call the elders of the church to pray over him. Yeah. and anoint him with oil yeah. in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith yeah. will make the sick person well. Yeah. The Lord will raise him up. He, if he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Yeah, that, that is, uh, that, that's how it works. Uh -huh. That means that, that sin mm -hmm. could have been an interest uh -huh. to the healing. Uh -huh. So that's why forgiveness is necessary. Mm -hmm. Some people are sick in a manner that they cannot even ask for forgiveness. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, that, that is why forgiveness is representative. That's why Jesus used to say, go, I have forgiven you. Mm -hmm. Go, I have forgiven you. Um, and I guess some people are, are sinful in a manner that their sin has separated them from God. From God. And, so and, God and some people them. have seen that they are not aware. <laughs> yes. That they have seen, they think they have, they have been doing the best. They have, they have done their best. Yes. Uh -huh. So they are ignorant of their sin. Yes. In that ignorance, God cannot stop from assisting you. Yes. He will use represent, representative assistance. Uh -huh. Yes. Representative Where this holy man comes mm -hmm. and they affect with honors. You know, you realize from Jesus, that holiness can be represented because if he carries a holiness that he, he uses to make people holy, mm -hmm. <laughs> he carries a forgiveness that yes. he can offer to you. He can tell you, go, you are seen, is forgiven. Where mm -hmm. you have not participated in, in the apologizing or as repenting. Uh -huh. So in, in such a scenario where somebody is sick, you, who is the man of God, mm -hmm. the healer, mm -hmm. You, you, you possess the gift of healing uh -huh. because the gift of healing survives in oh your holiness. Oh, they have, as you take the holiness to the sick person, yes. mm -hmm. as you take the healing to the sick person, mm -hmm. at the same time you are carrying, the, you are going to deliver mm -hmm. holiness. Uh -huh. And that your holiness that you are carrying will cover uh -huh. the That's sin of this of, person. Of the, so by the time the person is healed and you are uh -huh. living, it's at the, the person is at the same time Holy. forgiven. Uh -huh. oh. My God. So I don't know whether I've answered you correctly. That, that, that is my understanding of scripture. Mm -hmm. It may be debated in other quarters, it's, it's, but that is by revelation. Pastor, before you speak, yes. many of the people, especially Christians out there, they don't believe that someone can pray for them. They, they have that understanding like now the curtains have been taken away and we have di direct access to the to the Father through Christ. And therefore, you don't need a man to pray for you. You just go into your private room and call on God. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. But, but you realize the office of the pastor, mm -hmm. the apostle, the evangelist, mm -hmm. were product of the opening of the curtain. Uh -huh. So there's no way they can be irrelevant. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There was no pastor before the curtain talk. Uh -huh. There was no teacher. Mm -hmm. There was no evangelist. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There was no prophet. Mm -hmm. When the curtain at the temple was split into two, yes. it produced a lot of things, yes. including the pastors uh -huh. who are supposed to pray for you. Mm -hmm. You can say that, but that's, a, that, that's a, an naive understanding of the scripture. 
Mm -hmm. Look at the scripture entirely and see this is the New Testament. Mm -hmm. It has produced for us this particular kind of offices. Yes. Uh -huh. This particular kind of gifts. Yes. How necessary are they? Mm -hmm. Why should the gift of healing be there? Be there. The gift of healing <laughs> yes. is not a gift given to the patients uh -huh. who are sick. <laughs> it's a gift given to other people uh -huh. who should pray over, over the, the sick. patient. Uh -huh. They are supposed to heal you. Uh -huh. Yes. You don't say, I am a believer, I'm sick. And now because I have the gift of healing, mm -hmm. I'm now healing myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it says some were given the gift, gift. of healing. Mm -hmm. For what? To heal, heal the body, anybody in the body of Christ who may be sick. Uh -huh. Yes. Others were given the gift of miracles. Mm -hmm. Now, can you be given a gift of miracle to conduct, to do a miracle for yourself? <laughs> no. <laughs> these, these gifts, are, we possess them on behalf mm -hmm. of the body of, of Christ. Christ. Uh -huh. We behave like custodians. Mm -hmm. We behave like custodians. Mm -hmm. So we, we, it is deposited in us mm -hmm. for them. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Pastor. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going back to the number one category that you have said. Yeah. That uh, if you want anything from God, mm -hmm. you must embrace this holiness. Mm -hmm. that no, I, I didn't say that if you want anything from God. Yes. I said... For those who want something from God, uh -huh. holiness is a, a must. It's a must. If you want, there are people who don't want anything. Uh -huh. Like the devil doesn't want anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, he does. He only wants to become God. <laughs> so he doesn't want anything. Uh -huh. But if you truly want something, uh -huh. holiness is it's, a must. Uh -huh. It becomes mandatory. Uh -huh. Yeah. That under that context, I'm looking at the body of Christ, and so many believers are suffering. You can see a number of them poor. And, uh, but in them, you see a number of them want to be prosperous, want to have a lot of money, want to own uh, apartments and all those things. But they are struggling in this process. Mm -hmm. Dad, what is the place <laughs> of holiness in prosperity? There, there is, um, there, is uh, there are covenantal issues mm -hmm. uh, that our people must uh, um, adhere to. But uh, looking at the life of Job, uh -huh. what prospered him and protected his prosperity, it is all necessary. In the land of Uz, there lived a man, man. Oh. who shunned evil. evil. And then after, after explaining how and who he was, mm -hmm. then it, it begins to explain what he had. Uh -huh. So there's a, there's a correlation between what you own mm -hmm. and who you are. Mm -hmm. oh my God. There, there's a... There's a a very close relationship between what you own mm -hmm. and who you are. Mm -hmm. If you are what he wants, mm -hmm. he, he gets the confidence to give you mm -hmm. what you want. Mm -hmm. There's a big relationship. Is there a possibility on that note, Father, yeah. uh, uh, for the devil to give his people and God to give his people? Is there, is there a possibility that all wealth comes from the same source or it comes from different sources depending on who you are. I may not speak for, for the devil, mm -hmm. at least for now. <laughs> yes. But let me speak for God. Yes. I, I, I know wealthy as different sources. Uh -huh. Wealthy as different sources. Mm -hmm. But that which comes from the Lord, mm -hmm. it does not just begin by wealthy, it mm -hmm. begins from a blessing. A blessing. Uh -huh. A blessing. Uh -huh. That's yes. what the Bible says in, uh, in uh, Proverbs 10, 22. Mm -hmm. The blessing of the Lord uh -huh. makes rich uh -huh. and it does no sorrow. Uh -huh. So you, you, the end result of the kind of wealthy you have mm -hmm. speaks of how it came in mm -hmm. and it speaks about whose it is. Uh -huh. If the kind of wealthy you are enjoying making you suffer, mm -hmm. The source must be explained to you by, by yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but if the wealth that you, you have mm -hmm. is the source of your joy, oh. yes. it's the reason for your service, mm -hmm. that wealth is a product of a blessing. Uh -huh. And a blessing can only emanate from the kingdom of God, not from the devil. Uh -huh. There's no blessing from the devil. Mm -hmm. No. Wow. Yeah. So... I, I have spoken on uh, for for the kingdom that I I serve. You, uh, you represent. The, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and therefore I said it is mandatory. Mm -hmm. Number one, category one are those who need something from God. Yes. Category two, mm -hmm. those who want to see God. Those who want to see God. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
they must embrace holiness, holiness uh, if you want to see God. Yes. Because um, it, it says in Hebrews uh, uh, chapter 12, verse 14, mm -hmm. you can read chapter mm -hmm. 12, verse 14. Mm -hmm. It says, um, without holiness, you cannot see God. Uh -huh. So if you, if you want to, number one, those who want from something from God. Number two, those who want to see God. You can read that. Uh, Hebrew, Hebrews 12, 14, the Bible says, Make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be holy. Yes. Without holiness, no one will see God. We will see the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, God seeing you, and you seeing God are two different things. Because the eye of God is able to... The eye of God is able to see everybody without permission. Yes. But your eye to see God, mm -hmm. there must be a permission. Uh -huh. Somebody has, has got to work on it. Uh -huh. It is not everybody that has seen God. But God has seen everyone. Uh -huh. it, even as you are watching us and you are listening to us, God has seen you. Amen. And he even knows what you are going through. Uh -huh. But you have not seen him. Mm -hmm. Because for you to see him, you must, must be enabled. Be enabled. Uh -huh. And for you to be enabled, you must, must have be. a relationship. Uh -huh. God cannot access you if, if there is sin. Sin separates you. Mm -hmm. God can only access you if you have of a powered sin mm -hmm. and, and embraced holiness. Mm -hmm. He can access you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And when he accesses you, he can open your eyes. Without holiness, you cannot see God. That's a fact. Initially, uh, uh, I, I, if you have interest, you yes. know, it's not everyone that is interested to see God. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you have interest in seeing him, yes. we encourage you to embrace mm -hmm. holiness. Uh -huh. I welcome you to the world of holiness. Amen. We, God. Amen. If you want to see him, but you, you are making a very important remark. Yes, uh, but the emphasis is uh, heavy. Yeah. I'm, I'm even wondering because I come from a background formerly where I believed that one day I would be in heaven and uh, even now I still hold that belief that I will be in heaven, I will be in the presence of God and I will ask him many questions and uh, now I am seeing this emphasis that without holiness you cannot see God. Uh, I'm wondering whether it connects in the future or it connects in the present and in the future or it connects mm. only in the present. When you have holiness, when are you supposed to see God? Today, in the future or today <laughs> and the future? Um, seeing God is, um, is both now and then. Amen. You know, you, you, you can see God by entering to where he is mm -hmm. or by you being enabled mm -hmm. to be where he is, mm -hmm. where you are, where you are. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Um, <coughs> there was a notion in the Old Testament that uh, no one can see God and live. Yes, yes. Yeah. But Jacob said, I have seen him and I, I am still not, alive. Uh -huh. I have not died. Uh -huh. And... Uh, Paul was where we are, mm -hmm. but at the, same, at the same time, he was able to go where he, he is. is. I think 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he went to where God is, he mm -hmm. says, I went to the third heaven. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it was in the body or in the spirit, as yes. he says. Uh -huh. And when I was in the third heaven, mm -hmm. I was shown things mm -hmm. that man is not permitted, permitted. to explain. Uh -huh. And therefore... He only was willing to give us a few mm -hmm. of what he was permitted to explain. Mm -hmm. Now listen to this child of God. Yes. You can see God mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Many people say we have met with Jesus. I have seen fire. I have seen the Holy Spirit. That is not something everybody can see and say. Yes. You can see God mm -hmm. now. Uh -huh. But there's a difference between seeing God and living with God. Mm -hmm. What you are explaining about going to heaven mm -hmm. is an eternal experience. Uh -huh. But what we are saying in mm -hmm. Hebrews mm -hmm. is a temporal permission uh -huh. that enhances your confidence mm -hmm. in this God you are working for. Oh my God. 
you can see him now. God mm -hmm. has appeared to many people. Yes. Given them direction. Mm -hmm. Given them, given them permission mm -hmm. to do certain things. Yes. And that enhances your confidence, especially in your service with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that cannot be possible mm -hmm. in the absence of, of holiness. holiness. Uh -huh. wow. You see that? Mm -hmm. Therefore, if you want to see God now, mm -hmm. embrace holiness. And I'm talking to the righteous people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those who have embraced mm -hmm. righteous, have accepted salvation, have accepted Jesus Christ. Yes. This God is not hidden from you. Mm -hmm. Seen, hide seen from you. Mm -hmm. His hand is not too short. Sin shortens his hand, yet mm -hmm. the hand is too long. Mm -hmm. Long enough to touch you. Mm -hmm. But sin hides his face from you, uh -huh. yet his face is set for you. Mm -hmm. Holiness becomes the enabler, mm -hmm. becomes the reason and the, the, uh, why you probably can access uh -huh. God and your eyes will be more visible to see him. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can see him. Dad, perhaps let me ask this question. Yeah. Is it possible for someone who has accepted Jesus to continue to live in sin? Yes. But... Um, that disqualifies that individual. <laughs> you, you know, when you accept Jesus, mm -hmm. you are supposed to grow. Uh -huh. You are supposed to begin working out your salvation. Uh -huh. Yes. We don't grow in believing. Mm -hmm. We grow in faith. In faith. Uh -huh. So you are supposed to mature. Mm -hmm. When you are a child, Paul says, when I was a child, mm -hmm. I did as children do. Yes. I spoke as children speak. Yes. But now I am a full-grown man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot continue eating food mm -hmm. for the infant. Mm -hmm. I will eat food for the mature. Yes. And he talks about, he says, solid food. Mm -hmm. Enables one mm -hmm. to distinguish evil yeah. from good. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. You, ca you can read the last verse of Hebrews chapter 5. Before we go to, to 1 John chapter 3, verse 9. Hebrews chapter 5, the last one says, verse 14. Yes. But solid food is for the mature. Yes. Who by constant use. Constant use. Have trained themselves. Have trained themselves. To distinguish good from, from evil. That is it. Uh, constant use. So if you have become a believer. Mm hmm you cannot continue living in sin. Mm -hmm. You could have started your believing journey yes. while sinning. Mm -hmm. But if you continue, mm -hmm. you are disqualified. Uh -huh. It's like a race. Uh -huh. You know, salvation is like a race. Mm -hmm. As you are running, mm -hmm. you can have an attack on the way. Yes. But you, for you to win, mm -hmm. you must continue mm -hmm. to the end. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And there are people who drop out. Mm -hmm. We have so many salvation dropouts. Mm -hmm. There's another verse you said I read. Yes, I, uh, First John chapter 3 verse 9. Yes, the Bible says... Yes. No one... No one... Who is born of God will yes. continue to sin. It is not saying that no one who is born of God has ever sinned. Uh -uh. No, we will continue. continue. What it is discouraging mm -hmm. is continuing to sin. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yet in your mind, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes back, mm -hmm. you embraced Jesus, you mm -hmm. acknowledged him, uh -huh. you embraced salvation. Mm -hmm. wow. Now, what does it say? Oh At God. the point of receiving Jesus, mm -hmm. you were in error. Yes. But must you continue in error? Mm -hmm. No. Hello? Yes. So the Bible says, like, must we continue in sin so mm -hmm. that the grace of God may abound? Uh -huh. Suddenly mm -hmm. not. Yes. We were in sin. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yes. We accepted Jesus. Uh -huh. That's okay. So after accepting Jesus, what were we supposed to do? Uh -huh. Is to stop continuing in, in sin. sin. You cannot continue reading and finish. 
because God's seed remains in him. He, now, when, when you accept Jesus, uh -huh. the seed was hey. dropped in you. Uh -huh. hey. Now, it is remaining in you. Uh -huh. oh my God. If you continue in sin, mm -hmm. it will not grow. You know, a, the work of a seed is supposed to grow, grow to uh -huh. germinate. Yes. yes. So, if you continue in sin, mm -hmm. that sin becomes a worm that eats the seed. Uh -huh. And the seed cannot profit you, uh -huh. cannot benefit you. Uh -huh. If you continue, but if you don't continue, mm -hmm. the seed will grow and it will bear much fruit. Uh -huh. Now, now, now seed. Now, now read, begin afresh. Uh -huh. mm. No one who is born of God will continue to sin. Because God's seed remains in him. Mm -hmm. He cannot go on sinning mm. because he has been born of God. You see now? This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not a child of God. Nor is anyone who does not love his brother. That, that is it. Can I, can I take you to category three? Yes, please, Dad. Uh, <laughs> uh, category three is anyone who wants to enter heaven. By virtue that you accepted Jesus, yes. you have been enjoying eternal life. Uh -huh. It's not an eternal guarantee uh, that, you are, that you, you are resurrecting and entering heaven. It is how you continued, continued and finished the race. Mm. How you continued and finished the race. Mm -hmm. Because entering heaven mm -hmm. is the climax. Is it, the climax of our salvation. It's the climax of our salvation. Uh -huh. So if, if you want to end, mm -hmm. you must have continued in this work of salvation uh -huh. as a race. Uh -huh. You run, uh -huh. as Hebrews chapter 2 say, you run the race with perseverance. Putting aside oh. any sin that, that so easily entangles you. Wah, 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 wah. 12. Verse 1. So it is a race. It is a race. Salvation is a race. It's not a point. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus saving you uh -huh. is a point. Uh -huh. You embracing and accepting the salvation uh -huh. is a journey. Uh -huh. The crown is far ahead. It's far ahead. From the point of salvation. Yes. Uh -huh. You run the race. Therefore, verse 12, chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded. are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders mm -hmm. and the sin that so easily, easily. entangles. So I, it can, it, you are running the race, mm -hmm. but the sin can so easily entangle, entangle you. you. So when it entangles you, it's mm -hmm. automatic. You are not going to have the reward. Uh -huh. You are going to be a salvation dropout. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> you drop out of oh, the race. So people start the race and they drop out, out of the race. And our, our, our main duty of being here this hour yes. is to ensure that somebody somewhere yes. uh -huh. will persevere Amen. And, and finish Ooh. the race. Uh -huh. that's, our, that's why we're here. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us yeah let us fix our eyes on jesus uh -huh. the beginner the author and the finisher and the perfecter of our faith of our faith who for the joy set before him endured the cross scorning it is shame and they sat down at the right hand of the throne of god now you see that's why i said Another category of people yes. who must embrace holiness yes. mm -hmm. are those who want to go to heaven. Amen. Uh, because if, if, if in the absence of holiness, mm -hmm. people could have gone to heaven. Yes. If in the absence of holiness, people could have gone to heaven, mm -hmm. the devil could not be in hell. <laughs> 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 and I, 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 I tell you the truth. <laughs> Because why, right yes, why, why go to hell, hell on the basis of a, a, a failure to have holiness, uh -huh. yet you can live in that heaven uh -huh. without, holiness. without holiness. Heaven is a city where nothing impure Pua. can penetrate. Oh my God. Revelation 21 verse 27. Sorry. Revelation 21 verse 
27. Nothing impure can enter. Wow. That's why when, when, when you see, like, um, even, even though we are, we are sinners, we, we, are, we, are, we will meet in heaven, I, I am sure you can <laughs> enter that heaven, but it cannot be where God, God is. is. That, <laughs> yeah. In any case, there are many heavens. I don't know which one you are talking about. Uh -huh. There are three. Oh. Uh -huh. So I don't know which, which one you are going to. But, <laughs> but the one we are, we are since the year four uh -huh. is where the Father, the Father is, is. Uh -huh. and the Son is, uh -huh. and the Holy Spirit uh -huh. is. Uh -huh. And that one. That is where personally I want to go. Oh my God. You can, you, I also want to be there. That, that's where I want to go. You can read that. If, uh, Revelation 21, 20, 27. It says, Nothing impure will enter it, nor will anyone who does what is shameful or, or deceitful. deceitful, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that means the names, the names are not written when the lamb dies for you. Uh -huh. They are written mm -hmm. when you accept the lamb. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then when you walk in holiness, mm -hmm. the name is maintained. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, but the point is, if you want to go there, yes. embrace holiness. Uh -huh. This righteousness, the salvation is given to all of us. Mm -hmm. It's imparted mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. But holiness is what you continuously have to embrace. Uh -huh. You cannot continue in sin. Uh -huh. This statement is given to righteous people. Mm -hmm. You cannot continue in sin. You cannot say because I was saved in 1999, I am still a candidate or a son of the kingdom, yet you have continued to be in sin for those many years. There, there are many athletes who are not in, uh, in the game. <laughs> they, they, they cannot say, we were tough, give us the crown. Uh -huh. No, you are given the crown on the basis of how you ran the race uh -huh. and how you finished. Uh -huh. yeah. yes, he, he who perseveres to the very end, end. Uh -huh. shall be saved. Uh -huh. Now, we are talking about saved people. Uh -huh. That he who perseveres to the very end shall be saved. As if salvation is going to occur in the, the very end. end. Uh -huh. At the very end. Mm -hmm. Yet it is what you received. Uh -huh. But now you are running mm -hmm. in that salvation. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The what's the very end of salvation. Are you not able to hear from the Bible that we have come more closer to our salvation oh than when, when we started? started. <laughs> uh -huh. So what, when we started what? The salvation journey. Yes. That <laughs> when we started salvation. Uh -huh. So you, 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 you are saved. You receive the salvation, uh -huh. you begin the journey of salvation, yes. you finish the journey of, of salvation. salvation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's how it is. Amen. Then it becomes yours. Then it becomes salvation. Uh -huh. Yes, Pastor, you, that, you had something. Uh, it get, it's, it is, it's getting more interesting, particularly when you are saying that, uh, I know we are seated here to encourage somebody that there is an heaven where our Father is. Mm -hmm. But there is something I want to, perhaps we are helping somebody out there. there. Mm -hmm. Somebody can say, now that there are so many heavens, mm -hmm. in any case, even if I don't arrive at where the Father is, mm -hmm. I have arrived in heaven. Mm -hmm. How can uh, third one benefit any such kind of person outside there? The, the only heaven where I know the eternal life is where the Father is. So <laughs> yes. I don't have to discuss about the rest of the heavens. Yes. Because yes. I don't know the kind of life mm -hmm. in, the, in oh those places. Mm -hmm. Um, the only place where I am sure. Mm -hmm. Because in any case, the promise that we have is not to go to an heaven. Yes. Jesus said, where I am, I am. you also may be, be there. And where is he? At, At the, the right, right hand, hand of, of the, the Father. Father. That is where I want to be. Amen. So why, why, why would you wish to go to an heaven that has not been promised? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Why can't you go to where you are very sure you have somebody there that you know? Amen. So let me ask uh, that perhaps a question. Now that holiness is such crucial to a Christian, a believer who started the journey of salvation, some people say it is impossible to live a holy life. Is it really impossible or it is attainable? Is it by effort or how, how do you attain this? It is... Um, now, if it was very, very impossible, mm -hmm then our presence here is irrelevant. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because why, why should we waste time speaking to you mm -hmm. on a matter 
we we, we know, we know uh -huh. is practically impossible, impossible. Uh -huh. we we are speaking to you because of what we know mm -hmm. that it is attainable yes it's achievable mm -hmm. but you know just like righteousness was given by jesus yes holiness you are you can also be willing to be enabled mm -hmm. in the work of the journey because it is jesus who makes people holy yes mm. and um what qualifies you to be a brother mm -hmm. i think i said earlier mm -hmm. it is holiness. is make it is holiness mm -hmm. uh -huh. but it says in hebrews 2 11 mm -hmm. he who makes men holy, holy. And they that are made holy. holy. So, me, made is mm -hmm. from the word make. Make, make is a process. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a pro it is not, it's not like you are being said. Mm -hmm. To be made, mm -hmm. you must be willing <laughs> mm -hmm. to be molded. molded. <laughs> to be perfected. Mm -hmm. You are trained mm -hmm. constantly mm -hmm. on how to uh, differentiate bad mm -hmm. and good. Mm -hmm. And that means you, you somehow you must be compelled to go to a church mm -hmm. regularly uh, to uh, be calm. Mm -hmm. Or to listen to sermons like this on, mm -hmm. on the YouTube, on, mm -hmm. on television. Yes. And be a friend of mm -hmm. people of good character. Uh -huh. Because bad character will ruin, mm -hmm. bad karma will ruin your character. Yes. So you, you must make several choices uh -huh. based on what you want to attain mm -hmm. at the end of the day mm -hmm. all i can tell you it's mm -hmm. attainable mm -hmm. but it is only attainable to those who are willing mm -hmm. to be made by mm -hmm. jesus mm -hmm. to be made by jesus and, and and by the way jesus is the best because he gives us the spirit uh -huh. as a seal Mm -hmm. The same spirit will tell you, mm -hmm. this will jeopardize your relationship. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This will kill you. Mm -hmm. This is what is going to get, make God offended. Mm -hmm. Because those you, are, you must be willing to be led by the spirit of mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh -huh. This spirit of Jesus, when mm -hmm. he guides you, mm -hmm. he guides you unto all truth. Uh -huh. Yes. There is a verse in, a, a, I guess, a version yes. that gives us the, the formula on how to overcome uh, sin, because I, I believe that there is someone out there who is struggling in his mind when he's conscious, he says, I really want to overcome sin. Uh -huh. I don't want to drink anymore. I don't want to do sexual immorality anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do APCD anymore. But that person out there is wondering how can I do it? Because every time he tries, he fails. Every time he tries, he fails. There is a verse in the book of Galatians, Galatians chapter 5, uh, chapter 5, live by the Spirit, that gives us, that is 5.16, it says, so I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Uh -huh. Live by the uh, Spirit, yes. and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Uh -huh. And he goes down to uh, name them. The acts of the sinful nature are uh, obvious. Down. Sexual immorality, uh -huh. impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, tauchawi. Mm. Hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage. Mm -hmm. Fits of rage, ni ile kulipuka kwa asira. Mara moja, brrr. Rage, fits of rage. Uh, selfish ambition is a desire of the flesh. Dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, Ogis and the like. And it says this, I warn you as I did before that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. But verse 16 has said that live by the spirit and you will not satisfy these sinful desires. Uh -huh. uh, uh, from the way that has put it, if you could be out there struggling with, you really want to win, 
You know, there are many people who really wanted to leave, but they find themselves that they slipped off. Yes. And they're like, oh, no, oh, no, this is not me. Again, they are going to start by their own strength. It's not by might or by power, but by the Spirit of God. I, I, I believe that uh, there is a big place that you need to feel in the aspect of holiness. Uh -huh. You can be saved, but you also need to accept him, the Holy Spirit of God, uh -huh. to lead you, to guide you, and to empower you to overcome sin and its desires. In that way, it will be, that's why I think it's saying walk by the Spirit, because walking does not mean uh, go there and come out. It uh -huh. means constantly walk yeah. by Him. Every time a temptation comes, uh -huh. uh, the Spirit will help you uh -huh. to, to overcome. Amen. Yes. Amen. Pastor, what can you say? Pastor, I, I thank God because I, I have realized that uh, if God has really said or given us this holiness, mm -hmm. for sure, us as believers, mm -hmm. then it is something that is doable mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, in his wisdom, mm -hmm. what I've been able to hear from our dad is mm -hmm. uh, the Holy Spirit is here. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, a, a, a blind person is given that... Uh, to, to lead him, mm -hmm. they, they, they start to stick. Mm -hmm. I, I see that the Holy Spirit was given unto us mm -hmm. in a manner that in somehow along the channel mm -hmm. we can slip off. Mm -hmm. But this lead by the leading of the Spirit, mm -hmm. we can be brought back to track. Mm -hmm. And I want to use this opportunity to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. It can be, you, can, you may feel bad when you have fallen, when you have uh, landed into sin but that is not the end mm -hmm. there is a place where dad has said mm -hmm. that we are supposed to focus at mm -hmm. that place where holiness is the vehicle that carries us up to there mm -hmm. it is possible child of God that you can try work out by virtue that there is the Holy Spirit leading us mm -hmm. teaching us mm -hmm. guiding us mm -hmm. refilling us the great things of the Lord it is a greater proof that we can defeat sin. Mm -hmm. Let us stop that sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. Let us stop those things, small, small things that keep us away from the track mm -hmm. and embrace this wholeness. Mm -hmm. It is possible and we can win this world. In a summary, I guess that uh, we have had, if you want holiness, of course, dad said it is not for everyone. Aha. It is for the three categories. It is for the three categories. <laughs> yes. If you want holiness, then these three categories, you have to look at yourself. If you want anything from God, then you must embrace holiness. And the number two was? If you want to see God. Yes. If you want to see God, then you must embrace holiness. And the number three was? If you if want you, to be where God is, you uh -huh. want to enter heaven. If you want to enter heaven, then you must see God. But if you want none of the three, then you can just embrace... <laughs> you, can, you can live your life. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> and just embrace righteousness, yeah. and that will be enough for you. That perhaps... Uh, um, maybe all, all I can say is, uh, if holiness was not very crucial to mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. He couldn't have made an appeal for us to restore those who have fallen. Okay. Uh, you know, the, the appeal in, uh, in Galatians chapter 6 verse 1 says, mm -hmm. if any one of us has been caught in sin, mm -hmm. those of us who are of the Spirit, mm -hmm. we should restore him gently. Mm -hmm. Now, re restoration, we don't restore people whose destiny we don't care. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Yeah, it, it is because we care for their destiny and because we know the, their journey is not yet ended. That's why God tells us to restore them. And God cannot restore to you if you are not going to benefit. If you can still benefit without being restored, it doesn't have to include the, 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 the process of restoration mm -hmm. uh, when you can get what you want without being restored. Uh -huh. It is because you can lose. Mm -hmm. That's why you must be restored to gain. Mm -hmm. Now, you out there, I, I, I pray for you that God may meet with you, may speak to you, and you may find this to be of value that you can embrace it and by embracing this message and you be restored when you are restored you automatically become a beneficiary 
It's my prayer that every one of us becomes a beneficiary, not only here in our country, but in all the countries where this message is uh, getting God's people this hour. Mm -hmm. I pray for you. Do not indulge in sin. Don't embrace something that can make you ruin mm -hmm. the investment you've made in your Christian work. Mm -hmm. You've made such a great investment that you cannot wish to rubbish it and to let it go by deception and by deceit. Mm -hmm. May God help all of us Amen. to continue those who are righteous, that we may continue embracing holiness, because eventually we will be where our Father is. Mm -hmm. God bless you, everyone. Amen. Amen. Thank, thanks, Dad, for being with us and for the message. Amen. Amen. You're welcome. Amen.